understanding bleed for someone, dive into emotional expressions in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun for you. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that's rich in emotion and imagery, bleed for someone. It's a powerful expression that goes beyond its literal meaning, and we're here to unpack it all for you. Let's dive in and understand how and when to use this phrase effectively in English conversations. At first glance, the phrase, bleed for someone, might conjure images of physical injury, but its true essence is far more profound. Literally, to bleed is to lose blood, a vital life force. However, when we talk about bleeding for someone in a figurative sense, we're talking about a deep level of empathy, sacrifice, or commitment to another person. It means you are willing to endure pain, hardship, or make significant sacrifices out of love, loyalty, or deep connection with someone. To fully grasp the meaning, let's look at some examples. She would bleed for her children, ensuring they have a better life than she did. This shows a parent's deep love and willingness to make any sacrifice for their children's happiness and well-being. He's always there for his friends, ready to bleed for them if necessary. Here, it illustrates a person's loyalty and readiness to go to great lengths to support their friends. These examples highlight the emotional depth and the strength of the bonds described by this expression. When using bleed for someone, it's important to understand the emotional weight it carries. It's a strong statement that should be reserved for contexts where deep emotional connections or profound commitments are being discussed. It's not suitable for casual situations due to its intensity. We hope this exploration of the phrase bleed for someone has been enlightening. It's a beautiful example of how English can capture the depths of human emotions and relationships. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about communicating our feelings, thoughts, and connections with others. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.